Um, we're going to do now problems of uh, substitution, but this time we're including um, IUPAC nomenclature. So the question that I have here says uh, which of the following compounds will undergo solvolysis faster and why? And so, and the name of the compounds that I have is cyclohexyl bromide, and then I have three chloro pentane, and I have isopropyl. Let me just, I'm going to write it underneath because I'm going to um, draw the structures right beside the compound. So let me try another color here. So isopropyl. Um, chloride. Then I have methyl chloride. And I have one, two more here. Three methyl pentane. And I have three iodo. Three metal and thing. So it is important two things. Um, what is solvolysis? So here you have a reaction with the solvents. That reaction is an SN1 uh, reaction. So it is the ionization um, of these uh, compounds, and then you will have a substitution, but it is the solvent under solvolysis. So um, what we're doing now is drawing the structure of the compound. So we know solvolysis then we refer to as in one mechanism. And we know that as in one mechanism go through a carbocation intermediate. So which one will go faster? Then it depends on the structure. The more stable the carbocation, the faster the reaction would be because that rate determining step for that reaction is the formation of the carbocation. So let's go draw the structures. So here it says cyclohexyl bromide. So cyclohexyl bromide. That's my compound number one. And the other says three chloropentane. So I'm going to do this one over here. And it will be one, two, three, four, and five. Three chloropentane. That's that. Uh, let's do isopropyl chloride. So one, two, three, so in isopropyl chloride. Methyl chloride. That's that. And then we have three methyl pentane. So we start drawing one, two, three, four, five. And we have a methyl here. And uh, oh. That is something, let me see, I'm checking in the structures that I have here. No, it's not three metal, obviously, it's three chloro because that will not have a leaving group. And so I wrote it wrong here. So it is, here is chloro, three chloro pentane. So I'm gonna have to erase that part of the name. See if I should not be touching the rest. Hopefully not, we'll see. So it is three chloro, chloro, three chloro pentane, and that's the structure. And finally, I have, let me, I'm just going to draw that over here. Uh, three iodo, three metal pentane, so pentane, and here I have metal and I have iodo. Because we know it's so well, this is less analyzed than um, the type of carbocation that we're forming with uh, these compounds. So removing, I'm going to now at this step, uh, remove what is, let's think of the um, loss of leaving group. And I'm going to draw for all of them the chirocarion. And that's what we're going to do now is analyze that. If bromide the parts, you're going to be forming the following chirocarion. 
that carbocation is secondary. We're going to keep doing the same. Now I'm going to erase the chlorine here and give you the carbocation. Again, mechanism is the same. I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to erase it. That bond breaks. And now let's look at the carbocation that will form. So it will be minus the chlorine here, and you will have this structure, right? Now I have um, isopropyl chloride. Again, what is that we're doing? Breaking this bond. Loss of living group, chlorine departs as chloride. And now we have the following carbocation. After you break that bond, this is what remains. If you did the same with metal chloride, you will do exactly that, but you will be forming this carbocation. Yeah? And let's do the other two that we have below. Now, again, let's do it stepwise. So you break that loss of living group. What does that remain? The following carbocation now. Um, all right, get a little smudge here. All right, so the carbocation will be here. And same thing here. If you have the loss of a living group, I do that departing. Then I'm going to erase that and give you the carbocation. I must draw the metal now that I erase. And I will have this. Now, what you do now is analyze the structure of the carbocations. So you see here, that secondary, that's also a secondary carbocation. That's a metal carbocation. Terrible, very unstable. This is secondary as well. That's another secondary here, but this is tertiary. So that's the best carbocation. So in this series, um, 3-iodo, 3-metal pentane is the one that reacts the faster. So that's the type of analysis that you need to do. If you have questions that provide IUPAC name, draw the structure first. Generate the carbocation. If it says solvolysis, then then compare the stability of the carbocations to decide which one uh, will react faster.